Hello there everybody, Project here and welcome to another video of Train Simulator World 2. And today we're going to jump straight into the deep end, totally into the deep end here, because we're in Germany and we're going to be driving this high speed train. Uh, now this train is a BR406. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not going to try and pretend that I know a lot about this train because I don't. I just know that it's fast and we're going to be doing a, a run here. This is the Korn HBF line um, and we're going from here <laughs> to here um, hopefully. So yeah, um, like I say this is a high speed one, um, it, it, it's pretty quick this train. I don't know much about it and I'm not going to try to, there's probably people out there that will know a lot about it, um, but I just know it's a BR406 and we're on the Colm HBF line. Uh, so yeah, that's as much information I can give you at the moment. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough, but we're just loading some passengers up. Um, I think we can quickly have a little look in the, in the train. It's a high, it's a high, it does about 155 mile an hour this thing. Um, as you can see we're in the train here, it's very posh and nice, it's got some nice doors, water closet there, so yeah. So we'll jump in the front, we'll make sure everything's working, the pantograph is raised, that's closed off. Um, we've got our horn, uh, we need some lights on, dimmed, normal, we'll put lights on normal. Um, we'll adjust the aircon to 2. So we are pretty much ready to go, so let's lock the old doors. Like I say, this is a high speed train, um, it is pretty quick, so... Hopefully we can get moving. Um, yeah, I thought I'd just jump straight into this train. There is an induction on this train, um, which I... I have done. Uh, well, you need to because there's that much stuff going on in these things. Um, you need to do. You need to do the uh, the thing. We've got a 40 mile trip, but we do 155 mile an hour, so it's not a long trip in in sort of that respect. Uh, there's another German train there. That's one we'll have a look at another day. got some odd texture looking here, I don't know what that's all about, but anyway, I think it's because the sun's out. We are speeding, by the way. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, a fairly fast train, this one. <laughs> get to our destination pretty damn quick. But it's a very nice looking train, I think. I think it's a very nice looking train. I'm, s I'm not majorly clued up um, on the on the German lines to be to be quite honest with you um, and I'm not going to pretend to be um, I mean to be honest with you I'm not over clued up on the on the English ones um, and that goes for the trains as well uh, but <coughs> excuse me uh, but I know a little bit more on the English ones, but the these ones are, you know, it's basically I just I know how to set them up roughly, um, and I know how to drive them, so that's all I can sort of tell you at the moment. But we've got 39 miles to go. We'll just pick up the speed just a little bit. Because so you, it's it's a 39 mile journey 
which you're probably thinking, wow, that's going to be heavy. It's fairly long, but it's it's made quicker because obviously you're um, you're doing 155 mile an hour. It's so easy to drive this train as well. Uh, well, I mean, there is easier ones, obviously, but this is so easy. And you just pretty much build up the speed in a minute when you get opened up, and you just leave it to it. Um, it gradually picks up to 155. So, yeah, it's pretty good. There is no stops in between on this journey, you just go from one to another and that's it. Uh, so there's no little bits of stopping here and there, thank god for that. Because they are a bit of a nightmare. I've got a bit of a dry throat, I don't know why. <clears throat> so I do apologise. Uh, coast because we're at our limit and as you can see in the top right hand corner there uh, it says 155 mile an hour uh, so we will be opening it up pretty soon now we can pick up some speed so it'll allow us to open up very shortly the red dot on the speedo has moved over to 155 mile an hour so we can whack on the cans <laughs> throttle max give it a hoot there we go now we're talking I say this this train is 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 a really good train I say I think it looks the part as well I think it looks really nice actually certainly shifts. We're not even at top speed yet. I don't know exactly what this train is called in Germany, whether it's like a bullet train or a, you know, in, in you've got bullet train in Japan and things like that. China and all that area, wherever it is. Um, <laughs> see, I'm, I'm really clued up on trains. Um, so I don't know what this one is called, I just know it's as the BR. What's the timetable again? So yeah, we're going to... I don't know what ICE 316 is. Somebody must know. But yeah, I thought we'd have a change today. I've been doing some uh, British trains and things like that. But today I thought we'd have a change and a German one. Um, I do like doing the German trains, I do like driving them, they are pretty good. Uh, fairly easy to drive as well, even the freight trains, they're electric, uh, they're easy to drive. Um, but yeah, I just thought we'd, uh, we'd have a change today. Just get straight into it, get thrown in at the deep end, so to speak. So we've got 32 mile. Uh, we're hoping to be getting to our destination at 10.15 in the morning. It's now currently 9.52, so it, it, that just shows you how quick this thing goes. Um, it's saying that we're going to get there in like, what's that, 20 minutes? You do have to watch the speed up because you do you can speed quite easily in this. Um, it's so easy to speed. It's unreal. I 
passengers are happy. It's mental. That's all that matters. I mean, you can only but imagine what it's like for the driver in real life in this. I mean, this is a quick speed. Um, you know, and you've got these trees and lamp posts, uh, lamp posts, um, electric posts coming past you, traffic lights coming past you, uh, mental speeds, trees hanging low. <laughs> all it takes is just, you know, I suppose drivers don't think about that, do they? But all it takes is a little bit of a log to fall over. And you're flying along like this. What do you do? You can't stop and get out, can you? I would imagine that this line is checked thoroughly quite a few times a day though. Um, and I would imagine there's cameras all over the, the train line. Not literally over the train line, like looking at the train line. So on to other news, um, I'm still waiting for the uh, release of the update for American Truck, I think. Um, I've not actually been on American Truck today, so it could have gone on today. Um, so if it has, then great. If it's not, then it will be hopefully on pretty soon. But I'm still waiting for it, um, for that Western Star update. Again, I'm not using the beta, there is a beta out that people are currently using. Um, I'm not using that at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's, it is still there, so people are using that. Um, I'm just waiting for the, for the actual update to come out. And like I've said in previous videos, it's probably not going to be long. Um, it's just obviously when. <laughs> And if you're really waiting for it, like I am, it's, it can be a bit annoying. Uh, not annoying, just frustrating waiting for it. So you have to constantly keep your, ha your eye on the speed down here um, and what uh, gearage you're in. Like we're in, f we're going, we're in throttle five at the moment. It goes up to throttle 10, this thing. So we're trying to sort of keep it between an average speed, you know, I mean, we're doing 157, so we're doing a little bit over at the moment, but it's only two mile over, so we don't need to panic just yet. But it's it's keeping it at that speed sometimes, it can be a bit, because the line is up and down all the time. Um, and we are going to be slowing down to 124 in two mile. So we need to get ready for that. If I remember rightly, it does slow down fairly quick, this thing, um, for the speed and the size of it. It's fairly quick. So we've got 20 miles to go, which is not bad at all. And we'll be Aachen HBF. I think it's Aachen. I don't, I don't want to... We're speeding. And it's going to want us to go down to a 99 mile an hour. This is how long you have to slow this train down for. takes that long to slow down. I mean 155 mile an hour in a, a train that weighs a lot of tonnage 
Passing. And as you can see the gradient is 0.2 degrees so we're slightly going downhill. Um, now we're going uphill <laughs> as I said it. <laughs> completely changed. Look at this bridge here, it's weird isn't it? Look at this. Only in Germany eh? Um, I'm not sure why we've got a sort of, sort of texture issue. Um, the game has just recently been updated so maybe it's messed around with the graphics. It's something I'll have a look at. But it's uh, it's pretty annoying. I don't know if it's the sun to be honest. Um, it could be just the sun in the game, but I don't like it. So I might have to just readjust the gra graphics a little bit. Um, like I say, the game was updated, uh, so it might be something to do with that. They might have just adjusted a few things like they do. So we've got 15 mile and we've got 15 minutes. In theory that's a minute a mile. If all goes well. Excuse me. So we're still keeping it at ninety nine mile an hour going uphill again. Yeah I think that texture thing just here on the screen I think it's supposed to be the sun I think um, but it's looking a bit odd uh, I think it's been updated like I say it's been updated the game so when I came onto the game before it, it had said it had been updated um, that's how I know it's been updated um, it, they've obviously sort of I don't know mess with the graphics or something like that. <coughs> so I don't know. They do these things and then you get on and you're like, uh, what? That wasn't the last time. And then you have to go into your graphics and mess around. Anyway, there's a digger. It's really weird actually, it's making everything look a bit odd. Yeah, I don't like that, whatever they've done to it. Like I said earlier, we, we soon make up the miles, you know. Um, I mean, we've only got 12 miles to go now. Um, and then we'll be there. I like the way it tilt tilts as well. And it's around these bends. See, they they put the the track on a on a sort of angle, don't they? To give it so you can go around it quicker. Pretty cool. You do get in one, I must say, you do get in one of these trains and then you look at the British trains and you think, 
what do we do wrong? What what is wrong with us? <laughs> you know, you get in one of these and it just flies along. The TGV in France, it just flies along. I mean, what does that do? 200 mile an hour, that thing. We'll do a video on that one day. Um, but that's tricky to drive. Uh, I do I do have that on the game, the TGV, um, and it's but it's really tricky to drive. You you have to do a power change, um, and if you don't get it right, it just it's just a waste of time. You might as well just not give up, uh, not bothered. But we will give that a go one day. It'll be fun. It'll certainly be interesting. So 1.4 mile, we've got a 75 mile an hour speed limit, so we're going to have to bring it down to that. And we've got 9.2 mile until our destination hits us. I tend to just gradually, when I see, when I see that I've got like a mile or a mile and a half to go um, to, a, to a certain thing, a speed limit or whatever, I'll just gradually let it slow down and then I'll use the brakes sort of if I need to. Like now, it's getting to like, we're in the yards now, so then I'll start using the brakes. And take the brakes off a little bit. Climb a bit. Take the brakes off fully. Because we've got a bit of an incline as well, it'll, it'll slow down itself. So we'll let it do that. I really don't like that texture thing. That's. That's not good. Luckily it's nothing to do with my system, it's it's what they've updated. Uh, like I said, I might just have to go in and adjust the texture, uh, the graphics slightly. Which is not a problem, it's just a faff. You have to keep checking, going back, checking, going back, checking, checking. So anyway, we'll just have to make do with it. This for this video. There's a crane building some up. Turning down to a 68 mile an hour. So, we've got 6.6 .6 mile, we'll soon get there. Uh, we are going to be able to speed up a little bit again in a minute. I think it's just coming through this sort of busy area. You know. There's a lot going on around here, so we just seem to slow you down a little bit. Just for safety, really. I would have thought. at the station so it doesn't really matter. I like to give a little warning sometimes if I remember. So we're going to be able to open it up to 87 mile an hour in a minute and finish off the last part of our journey. There we go. Like I said back there there's just that sort of industrially, well not industrially but there's a, there's a place that you stop off on the left and obviously that's freight yard and stuff. So it just slows you down a bit I think just for in case there's anybody on the track or moving slowly or whatever. So we've got 
4.6 mile to go but not far at all now an old bit of track there not being used I will have the texture thing sorted out for the, for the next video <laughs> definitely like I say I'll probably just have to go into the graphics and just I'm not doing it now um, and just readjust things because they've updated it it's the thing I mean well there's a balloon look cool um, I mean it's nice when they update the games <laughs> Sometimes it messes with what you've set up, you know. Just have a bit more tea. Nice cup of tea. We're on Yorkshire tea, by the way, at the moment. If anyone's interested. Probably not. So we, it's possible we're going to make this for quarter past ten or ten fifteen, if it's correctly said. It's currently ten oh nine. We've got two point two miles, so we should we should be doing pretty well, really. We've got a seventy five mile an hour speed limit coming in in about 900 yards we're doing 82 so we'll just slow it down a touch there we go if you slow it down a bit under the speed limit you can always just knock it up again just to get to because as you can see in a few more yards now, 500 yards, we've got a 62 mile an hour speed limit coming in. It's all just getting used to the brakes, I mean they take a bit of getting used to anyway. Um, We've got a 43 mile an hour coming in. We've got 0.8 miles to go. So it's slowing us down gradually. I do not like that texture thing, that is horrible. I do apologise for that. If I'd have noticed that before I started doing the video, I would have uh, readjusted that. But uh, anyway, it's one of them, isn't it? So here we are. There's a freight train over there. We'll probably do one of them at some point. It's quite a squeaky train. So we've arrived in one piece. Actually early, which is very good. I'm presuming that means the doors are open. Off you pop. So there we go. I think that's it now, guys. Um, I think that's the end of the video. So that was the BR406. Um, like I say, ice. <laughs> 
Somebody's talking. Um, yeah, so it's like a, um, a high speed. It's a good train. It's nice to drive. Um, I thought we'd just jump straight into the deep end because we're going to do a few German ones now. If you look back at some of my other videos, they were in Britain using the North Pennine line and the East Coast line and things like that. Um, so these next couple of videos are going to be German ones. Um, so we'll have a look at them. So thank you for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, we are going to lock the doors and I think that's going to end the game. And also end the video. So thank you for watching once again. Hit the like or the sub if you don't mind. And until next time, bye bye for now.